So guys, while we are waiting for the delivery of the Victron charge controller back from the supplier, I have hooked up the JNGE solar charge controller at the moment. Well, it's running for a couple of days actually, and it didn't do much because we had cloudy weather actually. But now, uh, as the sun is coming back, now we can see here 1000 watts. But I doubt it's actually doing correct MPPT. I'm not sure. It doesn't look like because the battery is at 53 and the solar panels are at 59. So that's not much difference. And we can also hear the fan is coming on now. What degrees look more? I like this. Look more. Yeah, look more. Uh, 60 degrees. Current temperature 60 degrees and it's going down. This is inside the charge controller. And you can hear the fan. Well, at least they put a fan inside, you know, if the charge controller gets too hot. Well, it's not. It's a little bit of warm air coming out here. The fan turns on, cools everything down and happy it goes. So, 58. This should go down quickly. 1000 watts. And this is a 30, uh, 35? No, it's, I think it's a 30 amp charge controller as well. We are pushing 20 amps. 18.6 through it at the moment but um, Australia Post had all, has already texted me this morning that the charge controller should be delivered today today is Friday so hopefully it comes and we can replace it again with the tested and well working Victron 150 35 charge controller and we can take the G -J -J -N -G -E charge controller out again it's good to have it here as a backup just in case something happened. I also have ordered a second Victron MPPT 150-35 charge controller on eBay. They had a 20% sale yesterday last night and I said, wow, 20% bought one. So $305 delivered for exactly the same solar charge controller again. And coincidentally this morning, I'll show you. So this is now from the Victron community, um, how is it called, Victron Energy, uh, that's the community forum they have. And you know this uh, thread I linked under the other video where other people had the same issue with the com uh, controller locking up and not working anymore, no DC output. Well we had an answer this morning from someone from Victron Energy, M. Vader. And he said, Dear all, just an update. We are working very hard to get to the bottom of this. I'll have more information within a few days. And I, of course, replied immediately and thanked him for letting us know for the update and also offered some more help and assistant information, whatever they need to get this fixed. Well, that is pretty good that uh, Victron actually is moving in the right direction and trying to find a solution for all these people having issues with these charge controllers. So I guess they will push out a software update at some stage and the charge controller will just throttle down a little bit earlier, maybe reduces the power it pushes through if it gets too hot. Not 100% ideal either if you are super dependent on the power, but it's better than nothing. Watch the time. Quarter past 12. There's no delivery yet, but half... Oh, the fan has just turned off of the charge controller. So that's good. It's a good feature. I like it. Okay, let's wait for the Victron come in and then we install this straight away. We have to be careful. Uh, there's a slight problem, but I'll talk to you about this when the charge controller is here. Yeah, the Victron charge controller drives the solar panels far higher at about 70 volts, 75 volts. But this one pulls it down to 58. It looks almost like a PWM situation, what we have here. So I'm not sure. Would be interesting to have the Victron here as well and then swap it over the same conditions and see how much the Victron actually gets out of these panels. Quarter past one. Still nothing, but it says onboard for delivery. It's coming today. <sighs> Come on.
Some people said I need new soldering tips. I don't know what's wrong with this one. It's only 22 years old. Nah, that lasts another 15 at least. Well, uh, back to the inverter, to the, no, not inverter, to the um, charge controller. Yes. Ah, thanks for putting this on the box here. So back to the charge controller. <laughs> So the company we are bought it uh, told me they have tested this one here without without problems, but they tested it on 12 volts. So it is sitting on the 12 volt system at the moment. These charge controllers have auto voltage sensing, but only at the very, very, very first start when it's brand new from the factory. Every time you use the charge controller on a different system afterwards you need to change the voltage of your solar system manually in the settings so i will connect this now to a 12 volt battery just to get it going connect the app to it and then we change it from 12 to 48 volts so i use the resistor between the positive terminal and the positive cable to the charge controller and you will see the lights and you will see the lights start flashing and then you can connect the cable to the battery And now the charge controller already shows up in the app. Well, okay, I just have a look in the history of this charge controller. And and I can see they haven't used it really much. 700 watt hours they have charged with it. And 200 watts maximum each day. That's basically nothing. One, two, three, four, four days only. I'm not considering this as a comprehensive test. Sorry. Okay, battery, and we change this one to 48 volt. Okay, and now we can disconnect the charger and um, set it up in our enclosure again. Replace the GNGA, G GNGE charge controller, yeah. It, it has worked for the last three, four days or something since I sent the other one back, so, but still I cannot recommend it really. The voltage reading is still off by 0.3 volts in the GNGE charge controller. And three and 0 0.3 volts could mean a whole world in terms of lithium iron phosphate batteries, you know? And apparently there's no way to calibrate it, so which is a total shame. And now they have also stopped responding to me on WhatsApp, so even the service is <laughs> JNGE, your charge controller looked good at the beginning, but couldn't deliver. It's not reading the voltage correctly and your customer service is of the same quality. So first thing I did, disconnecting the solar, no incoming power anymore. And the next thing is to take out the network connection for this solar charge controller. And I'm not going to turn off the battery now, I'll um, deal with this live wires. And I'm just using this little plastic bag here to cover the positive terminal. This just um, like um, uh, this just like to prevent things from happening. And now I'm cutting the cable tie here at the top. It was just hanging on this one support. Okay, I'm reconnecting solar first, so these cables are out of the way but our fuses are still isolated, so there's no voltage here on these cables. And now I'm going to connect the negative of the charge controller, coming from the battery and inverter. Now we're taking this sleeve off again, and now I'm taking a resistor again to pre-charge the capacitors before I connect the positive. There the light comes on on the charge controller, and then I can push it in safely, otherwise we're getting a massive spark. So I'm just going to make sure the charge controller is actually working. You can see all lights are flashing. It's connecting, shows us 53 volts. And now I'm going to connect the solar. Just one string. Yeah, we've got 94 volts. Just making sure the cables are tight. 100 watts, around 200. I'm not 100% sure what would happen if I would have connected the charge controller directly to the battery now and it was sitting on 12 volts. 
I mean, it's an over voltage situation then for the controller, right? But he specifically mentioned this in his email said, before you connect it, you have to set it to your battery voltage. It, at the moment it sits on 12 volts. That's what they have used it for the testing. I don't know, I followed his advice and changed it before I reconnected to the battery and it worked just fine. Uh, if anyone has experience with that, so can the controller just be connected to any battery voltage? Not just the very first time, but every time afterwards as well, without damaging anything, but without destroying. Yeah, let us know in the comments down below if this is okay to just connect the charge controller to any battery voltage, whatever.